Hey guys, welcome to SPL, the Speaker Specialist. Today is going to be a comparison. Um, not a review, not, not the very normalist video, but um, if you do remember when I reviewed my Scar Audio VBX 8 V3 with my JL Audio W1 V3, you will find the speaker. This is the JL Audio 8W1 V3. And I don't know, you can see this box. Well, we have the big boy over here. I mean, he's not really a big boy, but he is a bigger boy than this. So, this is the W1, and this is the W3. Okay, so, first of all, let's get these speakers off this box that we have okay so first of all the w1 does come with some boxes but personally i like this box more so this is the box that the w3 came in with um i don't know how much gauge these are but it does seem like yeah it's jl audio 14 gauge wire that's pretty nice it's all JL Audio 14 gauge. This is a slot port. So uh, it comes in from here and then goes all the way around. And then there's a port right here. So and this polyfill. I mean, there is a problem going on that I do want to say. If any of you out here want to get one of these subwoofers. So uh, this is... With the set with the W3 in it and this, it was the JL Audio CP108 LG W3 V3. That is the model. You can go of look that up. Um, uh, I these are very high quality box, no doubt. These are good boxes. Um, they have all kinds of different boxes for their different speakers. They have some for their W7s. Uh, this is just twist terminals. Let's see if we can get a light. Um, so this is just um, twist terminals. The port is down here. Um, here is this. Um, so overall, I this is the only JL Audio box I've ever had. But, I really have had a lot of good luck with all of JL Audio speaker boxes. So, let's go on with the overview of the W1 again. This is just going to be more of a quicko. So, this is a 150 watt 8 inch subwoofer. This one is rated at 4 ohms. Um, single... 150 watt 4 ohm voice coil. Don't quite know how big the magnet is. Um, very small though. If you flip it all the way over, JL Audio, the speaker is currently made in China. AW133 V3 V3 slash 4. Um, it, uh, very, it's not, ah, very. It's not very high uh, roll surround. It's pretty low roll um, rubber, uh, plastic, metal dust cap. Um, there is metal on this, and this is metal. Plastic. I do love this cone design, though. Um, very nice cone design. Very nice magnet. I mean, I mean, not in like actual quality and stuff, but nice looking magnet. Um, black, black frame. Overall, this is a, a pretty nice feeling SQ subwoofer. So let's go on the very nicely in depth overview of this speaker. So this is my JL Audio. W1 V3 slash 4. So, the first thing I want to know that I do not know 
quite. So let's uh, flip this thing all the way over. Let's bring this guy over here. So let's um, get this light shining. Um, I'm not shooting this quite in 4K. But, so the 8W3B3, um, let's see. U.S. patent. Um, let's see, um. See, okay, so the EC, um, it is on the W3. So it starts on the W3. So this speaker is made in the U.S. of A. So this speaker is very nice. This thing is... Ma may manufactured in the USA, designed in USA. It is a, a full USA subwoofer, um, made in Miramar, Florida. Well, their factory is in Miramar, Florida. Um, there's there's quite a bit of differences and quite a bit of no differences. Um, so this is a new cone, whole whole new cone design. Um, so this surround is a lot cleaner, it's, um, thicker, it's nicer rubber, and it goes straight into, um, well, we'll talk about the two-part cone design. So it has a two-part cone design, so, like, un there is another cone under this, oops, um, but... So there's another cone under this, and it has like a little piece right here. But then the surround goes on the first uh, cone, and then this little um, piece of polypropylene, mineral-filled polypropylene, goes over this cone and smashes the uh, surround, and so it's sm all smashed down. Um, nice medallion. JL Audio logo, it's metal, metal medallion. Uh, these do attract some fingerprints, uh, but the, this one's more stiffer than this one. I mean, they're actually pretty similar. Uh, if you flip this around, you get a look of this, the beautiful stuff going on in here. So, I've never really noticed this till. I went back onto JL Audio's website and I found the uh, floating comb attachment. So this is actually vented, um, right, right here, right at the lip. It's vented, so it's vented right there too. Um, uh, nice spider right here, very nice. Oops. Ugh. It's all very nice. Uh, this this is where the logo is, so that's what the little dip is. Um, so if you let's just flip this thing right here. Um, so as the same as the W one, you do get the um, very little um, ported. Ported voice coil, I could say. is vented voice coil. If you could barely see in there, a little voice coil. Uh, that's that's either a 2 inch or a 2.5 inch. Um, not bad. Um, uh, most be I mean, even my Scar Audio had a 2.5 inch voice coil. So that's usually what they are. It's a little bit of a bumped back plate. This one has another sticker on the back. Um, I think there is just like a little lump of metal right here. And then just, I think that's really it. But, this is a very nice USA subwoofer. The magnet is, you know, it's it's on the small side. It is a sing, still a single 250 watt. Voice coil, but it is handled more. 250 watt. It is a bigger magnet, but you know, it's not huge. Uh, there's a lot of technologies on this thing. There's so many that it really can't even say every one. I mean, 
VRC, um, engineered lead wire, push terminals, um, and just more. That has the, um, I mean, they both have this, but, um, it is the trim ring, removable trim ring. I usually just always keep it on. I've never put this in another box. But, um, now I will tell you the problem with bone, well, with your thumb buffer. So, um, uh, no, it's in the basement. So that, I had a JL Audio 250 watt amplifier. Uh, and that was just powering this one subwoofer. And this is rated at 250 watts RMS. So, I was, you know, we jammed the subwoofer, but, this man, this thing sounds so good, and it, it actually gets pretty loud. So, we, me and my dad were jamming in my mom's car. Um, and every time we did that, it had this, I don't know, it was like a, what smelled. Okay, so... Whenever we pumped it hard, it's the voice coil started to smell. And we went and we looked up a whole bunch of stuff about the subwoofer and stuff. And we really did find out that almost everybody is having this problem. And that problem is whenever they start pumping their JL Audio AW3, it, their voice coil gets uh, hot. And that is because of the amazing, quote-unquote, uh, glue that is glued down on this voice coil. So, um, so JL Audio, this is a pretty powerful 8-inch for JL Audio. I mean, JL Audio is full SQ, but it's just, they wound this voice coil so many times and all this stuff. And they just loaded it with glue. And whenever this voice coil gets hot, the glue will come out of the seep. And then uh, as the voice coil starts getting hot just a little bit, the glue will transfer like three times the heatness of the voice coil. Heat up the voice coil. And then the voice coil and the glue will start to smell. And it's a disgusting smell. The whole box and the whole speaker, when you just smell into the voice coil, it just smells yeah it just smells so bad i mean eh, why would you want that so this um, um this is going to be the end of this review slash i don't even know what this even was it was a mix i don't know we compared and we can reviewed. Um, I really like both of these subwoofers. I would love for you guys to check them out. Uh, this subwoofer comes in a a, a six and a half inch, eight inch, ten inch, twelve inch, and thirteen inch. This comes in a eight inch, ten inch, and twelve inch. I would like. I would really encourage you guys to look at these two models. Also, I'd like to for you guys to look at the W6 line and W7 line. Please subscribe. Click the bell icon for more videos like this. Bye.